Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Just got this one in the mail today. Um, I've actually got a few turned up. So this will be, I'll do a few back-to-backs. Andrew Kirkham had a, um, like a virtual market. And I just wanted to round my collection out of my Kirkhams. And this is one I didn't have. It's the Viking teardrop or Viking striker. So I bought it. Um, yeah, it's just the standard pattern Viking that they often did in this like this style. Really nice Kirkham. It doesn't have his touch mark on it, but um, definitely comes from Andrew Kirkham. He was really generous. He um, included a little gift for me. I think this is a um, Viking fork, as far as I know. So, yeah, thanks, Andy. That's really generous of your mate. Um, yeah, fantastic. Nice little, nice little fork there, just as a, a gift he, um, he included in it. So, yeah, I'm... Um, Really, really appreciative of that, mate. And you have included a heap of English flint as well. So, yeah, um, yeah, thanks again, mate. Um, I, I love English flint, and yeah, you, you, you've gone on again and included a heap. I have struck this, and it sparks as you would expect a Kirkham, sparks incredibly well. But let's get some embers with it. Again, uh, just over two weeks in post, so yeah, no dramas. Quite easy. Um, quite quite well. I'm not driving it. That's the wrong angle. Get it at the proper angle. As I said, the sparks really well. No dramas whatsoever. As you'd expect a Kirkham. It um it's a bit unusual because um yeah in the pinch grip that's how you use it. So I'm just I'm 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 still learning how I'm going to strike it. So yeah, it um it feels a little bit funny in the hand. That's that I was I was I was wondering how how it was going to feel in the hand and it does feel a little bit strange in the hand, but I am going to get used to it, obviously. Um, now, the only other standard pattern that Andy makes is a Hudson Bay oval. But I have got ovals from other makers, so I probably won't get one. Um... This basically rounds out my Kirkham, Kirkham um, collection. No dramas. Multiple strikes. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to have to stop buying strikers, and I have, I've, I've got one more Damascus striker. Um, I've got a snake striker that I bought the other day. Um, I've got two more strikers I'm going to show you in a video to, that just turned up. And that's about it. Once they're done, I am not going to be buying any more strikers. I have bought some more steel, so I will. Any more strikers I'm going to do, I'm going to make my own. So basically, that's that's how I'm going to do it from now on. Is I'll be making my strikers. I won't be buying any more unless they are very, very unusual or special. So yeah, no dramas, Andy. That um, it strikes really well. It's a really nice striker, but a typical Viking tier.
teardrop. I will link Andy's. You just contact him through um, Facebook, as usual, and I'm sure he will be able to. You just con contact him through Facebook, and he, I'm sure he'll be able to um, do whatever striker you you're, you're after with him. And yeah, I, again, thanks for the extra gift, mate. That, that that's really appreciative of that. And um, yeah, I'm it, I'm blown away by your generosity, mate. Thanks very much, and thanks for watching.